Good morning, sunshine. Hey there. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. I figured I'll try to follow along with the band as much as I can, but if that bothers you, let me know and I'll um, bail. All right. I meant, do you want to let me know now? Does that bother you or do you want to just see how it goes? Yeah, you can try. Okay. Look at you getting creative. Well, I don't, I don't think, um, it drags on the spring. Anyway, I think my ball's too big. The studio ball's not that big. Well, I think it's for sure. You know what time it is. Say hi, Deborah. Oh, she's not there yet. Hi, Kathy. Good morning. Thank you for the links. Hi, Gretchen. Good morning. Thank you for the links. Or maybe I don't have audio. Okay. We can hear you. I can hear you. Oh, I can't. Hmm. Now I hear you. You can hear? Yeah. Okay. That was my own joke. I was like, this is when you pretend you're talking, but you just. <laughs> okay. Oh, I miss you girls. Yeah. The dogs are here. They're, oh, Winnie's in his downward dog. <laughs> Hiding all over the kitchen. Oh, she's not here. She's not here. It's okay. Hey, shh. They think you're here. Well, that's so funny. Oh okay. my gosh, they love so, her. Let's start with the. Well, we're gonna start standing on the floor. I just need a little stretch out to start. Hold on. Okay. So you'll see my torso. Yeah, mat or no mat, as you wish. Okay, feet are hip distance apart, soft knees, Let's take a big breath up, exhale, push the air down, we're going to roll down, chin to the chest, pull the ribs in, belly thin, heavy arms, and roll back up, stacking the vertebra, keep your weight evenly on your feet, nice big breath up. We're just going to keep adding on. Chin to the chest, shoulders down. Belly's in. All right, walk yourself forward out to a plank. Push back onto your heels. Your knees can be soft. Roll up. Nice big breath up. Exhale again. Chin to the chest, shoulders down. Rolling down. Walking up to a plank. Let's do one tricep push up. Down, up. Exhale, walk back. Big 
breath up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Walk up. Come into plank. One tricep push up. Hold that plank. Raise your left heel to the straight ceiling. Right heel to the ceiling. Hold that plank. Walk back. Rolling up, stack the vertebra, heavy shoulders and head. Big breath up. Exhale, chin to the chest. Coming back down. Walk out to plank. One tricep push up. Hold that plank. Left heel raises. Right heel raises, keeping those hips still. Hold that plank. Soften both knees. Walk your feet in. Drop the knees one inch off the ground. Tabletop back, so belly's in. Wrap the ribs, shoulders down. Nice deep breath in, hold it four, hold it three, two, press through the legs, come into downward dog. Mm. Raise your left heel, flexing, reach your heel to the sky, press your right heel to the ground. Float your left leg down, keeping your hips square. Reach up with the right heel. Long spine, long neck. Right heel comes back down, press into downward dog. High tailbone, draw the shoulders away from the ears, reach the heels to the ground. Keep trying to uh, tilt your pelvis up to the sky. Soften the knees. Walk your hands back. Last time through, roll up, stacking the vertebra. Nice deep breath up. Exhale, chin to the chest, rolling down. Walk out, find that plank. Tricep push up, back up plank. Left heel to the sky, flex foot, keep the hips lifted, right heel to the sky. Hold that plank. Okay. Both knees bend, lengthen out, bend in, walk in. Hold that long tabletop back, one inch off the ground with the knees. Nice deep breath in, get longer from the tail bend to the crown of the head, and push back into downward dog. Press your chest toward your calves, or your shins, I should say. Open up through the shoulder blades, pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Flex and raise your left heel to the sky. Push through with that right leg. Float your left leg down. Right leg comes to the sky. Lengthen. Back down, press through a downward dog. Walk your hands back, soft knees. Stay folded over, bend your elbows, clasp your elbows in your hands. Lay your upper body, do the stretch. Make sure to shake your head now, not a yes, release your neck. Belly pulls up, ribs are closed. Release the hands, soften the knees. And roll up vertebra by vertebra, stacking back. Good. One last thing. Clasp your hands and back, palms facing. Roll down, chin to the chest. You're going to roll down as slowly as you can. Let your arms just naturally reach to the sky. Hold over. And now release your arms parallel to the ground, squeezing your palms toward one another. Open through the front of the shoulder, lengthen through the neck, release that neck. Exhale, try to let the weight of the arms reach toward the ground. Good, bring your arms back to your tailbone and roll up. Good. And release your hands, shake it out. 
Okay. All right. On to the reformer. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay. Head rest up or down, foot bar all the way up. Um, let's do red, green, blue. Okay, middle of the foot, or just about the heel is on the foot bar. Push out, find your neutral spine. All right, close the ribs. All we're gonna do is march. So as you come in, one foot leads. Lengthen out that leg. So Gretchen, I would say one leg, tabletop, and the other leg, heat, bending, and stretching. So don't alternate until you do about 16. Okay, thanks. Lengthen through the spine, close the ribs. Four. Three. Two. We're gonna stay on our right leg. That left leg reaches diagonal, come back. Four, three, two, last one. Bring it in, switch. Three more. Two, and last one, both feet. So put both feet in your band, Gretchen, push out. Separate the ankles and knees. Four, three, Two, let's meet up, legs all the way straight. Engage the booty, tiny bend and reach. Bend and reach, bend and reach. Five, four, three, two. And we're gonna bring the carriage halfway in. Little pulse, in and out. Four, three, Two, take the carriage all the way out, straight leg, reach to close the move, motion, bring it in. All right, shake it out. You're gonna do the same thing, externally rotated, heels together, flex through the feet, push out, get that neutral spine, squeeze the other thigh as you bend, marching. Four more times each side. Three, two, all right. I'm going to be on my right leg, Kathy. Okay. In and out, reach long. In and out, reach long. Five, four, Three, two, last one, and bring it in. Other side. That was a very sloppy transition on my part. 
five, four, three. Good. Last one. And bring it in. Both legs together, all the way up. Belly buttons in, ribs heavy. Stop into the neck and shoulders. Four. Three. Two. Good. Let's meet up for the carriage all the way out, straight leg. Tiny little bend. Squeeze, reach. Get those legs longer. Engage the glutes. As you squeeze, press. Five. Three. Two. Last one. Soften the bend halfway in. Little pulse in and out. Four. Three. Two. Take the carriage all the way out. Bring it all the way up and shake it out. Okay. Oh, same spring, balls of the feet. Lift the heels high. Let's press all the way up. Just heels down and up. Work through the calf. Keep the booty engaged so. Four, three, two, and one. Stay long leg, rotate inner, heels together, narrow V. Little down, up squeeze. Keep your booty engaged, don't forget. Four, three, two, and one. Come to neutral heel internally rotate so just swing your heels open and lift up 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 four three we have one last transition two and one neutral heel come back parallel bring the carriage halfway in press through the heel here so don't let the carriage move press through all the foot reaching heel try to find that uh, it how far you can swing that heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Press both heels down, bring the carriage out, lengthen, push those heels underneath the foot bar. And bring it in. Good. Shake it up. Okay. All right, let's go to one red spring. Um, if we do this on the foot bar, Gretchen, you can do this. Uh, well, you could do it with no weight on your leg. If you're on all fours, you can do all the leg movements. Where your knee is bent, you can put a ball where the leg is straight. I would do it just without any weight because it'll get hurt enough. Come into tabletop stance. All right, let's do ball of the foot, left foot on that foot bar. So if you reach your leg long, Gretchen, point through the toe. Have these shift the carriage forward, right? Keep it there. Hands are either by the head, the shoulder block or the peg or flat on the wood. That's how you know you're not using your arms, right? Stay high on the toe, bring the carriage in and out. You really want to feel that straight leg extension. And Gretchen, if your leg is straight, parallel to the floor, Bend the knee so the toe goes to the ceiling without dropping the knee. Shoulders down, neck is long. Let's 
four, three, two. All right, let's straighten that leg. Everybody's leg is straight, parallel to the floor. Flex, reach the heel back, point. Right, still in that supporting leg. Your right hip is behind your right knee. Four, three, two, last one. Let's bring that carriage in. You're gonna switch it up. Heel is on the foot bar. Push back up. Push that carriage forward. So this one, Gretchen, get that leg straight. And as we come in, lower, tap the floor, push back out. Keeping the hip square. Your right hip is behind your right knee because you're sitting into that leg. Your right leg is your support. Square the hips. Four. Three. Two. And last one. And we bring it in. Coming on to our right elbow. Open up that hip, open up the leg. Press that to a straight leg. So divide it in two, Gretchen. Straight leg as we come in, bend that leg back, and then reach straight. Keeping the knee high, the leg parallel to the floor, pressing the pelvis forward, opening the chest. Squeezing into that long straight leg. Four. Three. Two. All right, we're going to meet up with that leg straight. Flex the foot. Tiny little bend. Reach longer. Bend. Reach longer. Your weight's on that supporting leg. Make sure you're not crushing into your right shoulder. Lengthen through the neck. Five, four, three, two, and one. And let's bring it up. Okie dokie. Before we go to the other side, bend up. Um, sorry. So you're on the side of your machine. That should just come into a runner's lunge. That left leg, the leg we're working, is back there. Push into your runner's lunge. You can push against a wall in front of you. Open up through the chest. Kathy, sit down. Keep that knee off the carriage. Good. Now sit all the way down. Release that knee. Push into your modified split. Reaching the right leg forward, lengthen through the neck, soften through the jaw. And let's bring it up. Okay, other side. On all fours, start on our toes on the foot bar. Press out to a long leg. Okay, shift your weight onto that supporting left leg. Heel, uh, keep that heel high. As you come in, keep your hips square. Push out, push into the carriage. Really feel that transfer of weight into that supporting leg. Lengthen through the torso. Breathing. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's meet up with the carriage all the way out. Drop that heel, raise it. Flex and point. Four, three, two, last 
One. Now let's bring it in. Come on to the heel. Push into that supporting leg. Ready? And bring it in and out. Belly lifts, ribs close, shoulders down, neck is long. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's bring it in. Come on to your left elbow. Open up that foot. Push out. Flex. Pushing the pelvic bone forward. Shifting your weight onto that supporting leg. Four. Three. Two. The last one. All right. Bring it in. All right. Coming to the side of the machine or the floor. Coming to runner's lunge. Keeping the right knee off the floor. Open up through the chest and sternum. Pull the shoulders down. Keep the chin neutral. Good. Soften that knee down on the floor. Reach through the left leg. Come into your modified split. Let your pelvis get heavy, but keep your upper body engaged. And bring it in. Okay. All right, next one. So Gretchen, I'm going to suggest that you get two kitchen towels because you can do this um, on the floor. Your hands will be on the floor. Both balls of the feet will be on the kitchen towels. You're going to push out. So where we are here, you're going to push out and in, pulling your feet in with the kitchen towels. Okay. So Kathy, take your foot bar down to the lowest rung. And let's go to a green spring. So we're gonna make it as uh, hard for ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Heels of the hand are on the foot bar. We're just gonna raise our tailbone. Don't round though, stay as long as you can. Push your weight back into your feet, and we're going to push out to our plank and pull in. Make sure that your shoulders do not pass your wrists. So your weight is back in your feet. Pull in with the lower abdominals, lengthening the sit bones away from the crown of the head. We're getting as long as you can in the torso. Five, four, three. Two, and let's move up and plank. Just hold that plank. Mm -hmm. Exhale, scoop the pelvic bone toward your chin. Your gaze is at the diagonal. Lengthen through the neck. Pull it four, pull it three. Maybe one more set. Knees pull in for eight. Keep that tailbone high. Seven, your weight's in your feet. Six, five, four. Three, two, last one, and bring it in. Come down. Push back into a high hip child's pose. And let's bring it in. Okay. So fun. Okay, stay on one green spring. Keep the foot bar where it is. We're gonna sit upright. Uh, so Gretchen, do the same position 
with your feet on the floor, heels together, feet on the floor. Okay. As we push out straight leg, you spiral. What we're looking for is to lift up out of our hips, open through the chest. So don't unweight that opposite sit bone and bring it back in. Right? Same side, four times, trying to spiral. Pull yourself back in. Is that four or is that three? Let's do one more. Good, come back to the center. Extend other side. And come back in. And in. Pushing your lower and middle back forward without popping your ribs. Crown of the head reaches to the sky. One more time. Okay? All right, Kathy, add more spring on it. Add a rib. So Gretchen, as you're on the floor, you're pushing forward with your heels and pulling your heels back in. So you create that resistance of pushing and pulling. You can put a towel on your heels if you want. Okay, arms in front. We're gonna open long and tall and come in scoop hollow. So you're tipping your pelvis from upright to hollowed out C curve. Exhale, and round in. Three, two, and last one. All right, come upright. Now all we're gonna do is put it together, right? We're gonna start here, we're gonna hollow out. We're gonna come in and open and up and hollow, okay? Yeah. You guys are already doing it, awesome. <laughs> up, open, up, and round, and up. Same side four times. Last one, and let's switch sides. Open, extend, really feel that lifting out of the hips. Don't worry about the angle of your arms. Last one. And bring it in. Sit up, good. Just pull your feet off the bar, soles of the feet together. Big diamond in front, little butterfly. Shoulders down, scoop back in the belly. And we're gonna dig down with the crown of our head. Lengthen up straight back. Dig down, hollow out, lengthen through back. Two more times. Last one. And we reverse. We go hinge at the hip, straight back. Now pull back in the belly and reorganize stack. Exhale as you hinge, pull back. Really feel your lower back. Muscles engage. Last one. And up. Beautiful. All right. Let's do um, some abdominal work. Let's take the um, green spring off. So we're going to do red. Gretchen, you can do this with hand weights. Um, yeah, you can do it with hand weights. If you find your legs are popping up, either bend your knees or you can put um, these are not sandbags. Um, you can put dogs on, your, on the tops of your feet. <laughs> Tuck your feet underneath Winston. <laughs> okay. So let's sit upright. Legs are straight in front, either straight across or they can be bent. Whatever way it feels comfortable, pull your booty out. Okay. We're gonna do long up straps. Gretchen, you take the weight. You're gonna come into a bicep curl and hinge back and come down. That's all we're doing is uh, wiping our forearms on that wall in front. So you wanna find that hinge that engages your lower belly. 
Lifting out of the hips. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Good. Stack your hands. Okay, same thing here, Gretchen. You can take weight away or stack your hands holding a weight close to your chest. We're gonna roll down and C curve and up. All the way up straight spine. Start with the pelvis scooping forward. Three more. So I feel your vertebra reach to the floor. Keep the chin holding on to that walnut. Good, we're gonna meet up in that contraction. Exhale, release the hands forward, stack, roll up. And again, all the way down, release the arms forward, stack. You'll notice as you release the arms forward, it changes the abdominal engagement. Let's do three more times. Two more times. And last one. Good, okay? Um, cross your tables, Kathy. Stretch and you take a weight in each hand. We're gonna do simple rows, okay? Starting from our thumbs together. Arms are lifted, not hinged back. Don't drop your chin, stay set. We're gonna pull simple row with our elbows, press your chest forward and push. Push, pull. Don't let your wrists start to buckle and do all the pulling. Pull from your lats, from your shoulder blades, connected to the elbow. You want that marionette feel of a string attached to your elbow. Go as wide as you can, as high as you can, and the elbow, not the shoulder. The shoulder down. Feel that engagement of shoulder blades and lats pull down as you narrow to the center line. Four, three, two, the last one. Cross your tables, Kathy. Come into bow and arrow, single arm row. So spiraling, same thing. Don't unweight that opposite sit bone. Come back, straight arm. Push forward with that straight arm. Lifting out of the hips. So two more times, each side getting longer, taller. Be conscious of your sit bones, close your ribs, pull your belly button in, sternum is lifted, neck is long, jaw is soft. And bring it in. Beautiful. Okay, Kathy, go to a blue spring. Stretch and go to a lighter weight if you're on a heavier weight. Okay, we're going to be cross table. <clears throat> so, Gretchen, you're going to hold the weights, the palm facing out. You're going to open French doors, not much bend in the elbow. When you engage from the lats and the sternum, Kathy, try and open the palms facing out. <sighs> Lengthen up in the torso. Try not to do the work in your neck. Try and pull it down into your lats. Three, two, and one. All right. Oh, okay. We're going to get up. Um, I'm going to sit. I'm going to sit on my knees. Um, Kathy, you can't do that, right? Not so much. Uh, then get the box, short box, so 
and, and sit there. Gretchen, you can do this with me with hand weights. Okay, hand weights or straps. We're gonna sweep our arms back. You hinge forward ever so slightly, not releasing your belly. You have a nice long spine. Squeeze your elbows in toward your ribs and we tap the floor and we raise our palms, right? Don't rush it. Start noticing where your shoulders are going. You don't want them to roll forward. You want them to open wide, which actually gives you access to your um, triceps. Lengthen through the neck, palms high to the sky, palms high to the sky. Five, four, we have one transition. Three, so engage your belly, close your ribs, lengthen through the spine. Two, we're gonna add on right here. You come up, you squeeze in, out, and go down. Up, squeeze in, out, go down. Open up the shoulders, don't start collapsing and rolling. Four more, in, out, down. In, out, down. Long spine, last two. Last one. And, well, yeah. Okay. Just come into a high hip um, child's pose. Press your chest toward the ground. Okay. Come up. We're going to thread our arm through. So it's going to be awkward, Kathy, or if you'll be one frame. Thread your arm through. Keep yourself balanced. Oh. Soften into that shoulder. Pull your shoulders down. Come up. Let's go other side. Up. Okay, yeah, stay facing the way we are. Gretchen, you can do this without the cables. We're going to do it with the cables. Um, doesn't matter that our headrest is up. You're going to come on your back, slip your legs through the long, the long strap. And Gretchen, if you want some extra reminder, bring your red ball, put it between your knees. That'll be a different focus than with the straps. Okay. Ankles, knees, squeeze together, hands behind the head. Imprint your lower back so you get that little knee lift toward the sky. Really feel your belly engage. Exhale, peel your upper back off the carriage. So don't crank your chin. Keep your hands nice and supportive just at the base of the cranium. And then your chin is holding on to a walnut. But keep your jaw and your, your neck soft, right? Shoulders down. We're going to curl into our little tight ball. Open back up to that starting position. That's not a big movement. Exhale, pull tighter. You want to feel your knees reach to your forehead or your eye sockets, and your eyes reach to your knees. Notice where you're pulling from. You want your abdominals to be doing the work, of course. So if you feel your neck is, your back, try and sink your abdominals into your spine, heavy ribs, and take a look. Make sure they're pulling in. Four more. Exhale. We're squeezing with a nanosecond hold. Three more. Two. And this time, as we open, arms and legs go diagonal. Come in toward tight little circle, arms and legs diagonal, keeping that imprint. We have five more here. Four, three, two, and let's hold this one for four, three, two. Come into your tight little circle hold. Okay, you can support your head too. 
Okay, second set. Come back into that tight little ball. All right, spiral your right elbow to your left knee. Curl your upper body up and spiral the other way. Spiral. So you open, recontract, engaging your um, no. <laughs> Whatever. One more time, each side. Good. Come here. Next time, we're going to extend our right leg and pull our left knee toward the elbow. Come in, pull into that ball, spiral the other way. Pull in and open. Pull in, open. Keeping that imprint, we have three more times each side, pull tighter. Two more times each side. Keep pulling tighter as you come into that ball. Last one each side. And pull into your little ball, pulling tighter, 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 tighter for eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release. Okay, one last set. Okay. Does everybody still like me? <laughs> okay, legs are straight. Peel your upper body off, elbows are wide. Our abdominals are engaged. We're gonna engage our lower abdominals by lifting our toes to the ground a little bit. So you're trying to get into that C curve in this position. Hold your upper body still. Lower your straight legs, hold them back in. Lift your toes at the end. Open, close, lift high. Open, close, lift high. Three more. And one transition. Two. Last one. Good. Upper body down and lift up. So bring your knees closer to your forehead, your forehead closer to your knees. Lengthen, lift, pull. Visualize that taco. Four. Three. Two, and one, and final release. Anybody want to talk about anything? Oh. Okay. Let's take our legs out of there. Okay, let's do uh, some plow work. So on our side, Kathy, let's do, let's just load up with springs so the carriage doesn't move. Okay, Gretchen, you're on the mat. <clears throat> We're not gonna use any straps or anything right now. Headrest should be flat, so there's no stress on your neck. I'm gonna take my, uh, straps off the pegs, so I have the pegs. So Gretchen, your your aid and, and assist is your arms on the floor, and when we go up and over, all of us can use hands on the lower back, but I, I'll call that out, but press your arms into the floor, right? Legs directly up above, come into that imprint, lifting our toes. Exhale, lift up and over. Your legs parallel to the floor, to start to soften in your lower back. Don't collapse into the upper back. You want to widen through the shoulder blades. Right? Keeping the ankles and knees squeezed together, long straight uh, legs, and reach through the toes. We're going to roll down as slowly as you can, keeping your legs as close to your face as possible. And open up, come to 45 degrees. Either come back up to 45 degrees or you can bend your knees to come back up, up and over. Then reach your legs, rolling down. Good. 
Good. And again, exhale, lift up and over. Good. Rotate at the waist, take your legs over toward your left shoulder. Roll down on the left side of your spine. Come down to the left and spiral center on your tailbone. Up and over. Spiral over to the right shoulder and visualize rolling down on the muscles right on the side of your spine. Come back to the center and up and over. Good. Open your feet, flex through the heels, really lengthen backwards through those heels, rolling down, same thing. As if you're dragging your toes on the floor behind you, keeping your legs long. Legs come together, reach for the toes, come back up and over. Legs through the feet, open. Soften through the neck and the shoulder blades, roll down. And come back up and over. All right, we're gonna go vertical now. Lift up vertical, either hands to the lower back. If you put your hands there though, you need to push your heels away. So you can really find that vertical line, right? Slowly lowering the legs, tap the floor or let them fall toward the open well. Exhale, using the abdominals to lift back up. Nice and vertical. Lower down, slowly. Breathing through the spine, it's a big stretch. Oh, vertical, good. <clears throat> Let's go down. And we're going to meet up down there. Left leg reaches to the sky. Take the weight out of your shoulders and neck. Lift in the hips. Really feel the engagement of the hips and lift through that left big toe and float it down. Right leg to the sky. Same thing. Lift with the hips. Get longer. The torso. Float the leg down. And release, rolling down as slowly as you can. Good. Knees to the chest. Happy baby. Into a fold the extension, reaching through the heels. Come into high butterfly, soles of the feet together, holding on to the front of your ankles, pull your heels toward your pelvic floor. Okay, bring it together. Let's come off. Kathy, take your foot guard down and go to a blue spring. We're going to go into some planks. So, Gretchen, on the floor, we're going to be on our elbows. So, hands up against the shoulder blocks. Or you can have prayer hands, whatever you prefer. And come into plank. Press back into the heels. Tuck your pelvic bone toward your chin. Lift in the belly, close the ribs, shoulders down. Just lengthen, try and soften, try and really lengthen from the heels to the crown of the head. Soften in the shoulders, the neck, the jaw. Lift to the center line of the, of the abdominals. Good, walk your ankles and toes and knees together. Lift one more time in the belly, nice exhale, spiral the hip, drop your right hip or rotate your right hip toward the floor. 
from dropping. This is what I will left. Try and separate your ribs from your hips. Keeping the weight in your feet. Four. Three, long neck. Two, keep that belly lifted. Last one, each side, come back center, hold that plank for four, three, two, and we're gonna pull into a little yoga handstand, tailbone is high. Hiking up, release the crown of the head. Hiking up. Let's do four more. Find that plank each time in between. Don't cheat. Three. Two. Squeezing that imaginary golf ball between the inner thighs. Good. Come into plank. Hold that plank for eight. Seven. Six. Five, breathing, weights back in the heels. Last three, two, and one. Bring it in. Good, nice little child's pose, or hips high, child's pose. Oh, and let's bring it. Okay. One red, one blue. Coming on our back. Gretchen, I would do, I would suggest leg trickle series, putting something, a small, like rolled up towel underneath your sacrum. So when you're on the floor and you don't have the cables, it'll force your pelvis, it'll force that little bit of imprint, which is fine. So you don't end up using your hip flexors or straining in the back. So if you put something just here, underneath here, so it tips you into that um, little bit of imprint. One red, one blue spring, Kelly. So Gretchen, when you're on the floor, you want to feel that because your pelvis is tilted ever so slightly toward the sky, that the weight of the legs is not suspended in the hip flexors, but actually is supported through the abdominals. All right, heels together, narrow V. Just do froggy kick in and out. Reaching, really lengthening through and pedal through the feet. So length and point, flex, bring it in, getting the whole leg and foot engaged. Squeeze into long straight legs. Knees don't come past the hips. Four more. Three, two, all we're going to do is add on inner thighs. So when you extend, you open, close, flex in, lengthen, open, close, flex in, open, close. Quick little open, close, snap and close, connect with the sit bones, not just the inner thigh. Four more. Keeping those heels glued together, unlike mine. Three, two, good, swimmers. So pull into the center line, open, flex through the heels, and then reach to the toes. So work the whole foot and leg. Pull into that center line. Four, three, two, and one. 
long straight legs actually rotate, come up toward 90, feel the pull from the glute hamstring insertion. Three. Two. One reverse, opening, pushing through. Four more. Three. Two. And last one. Come up to parallel. Start circles at the top, externally rotating at the bottom. So focus on that hip circle. Five degrees, let's meet up there. Parallel legs walk in the park, and one knee up. Dig that foot down to come up, engaging the lower abdominals. to 90, flex your feet. Release, push down to 45. We're going to do our hip flexor stretch. So Gretchen, you can lay one uh, leg on the floor and open up the other leg and try and uh, tilt the knee into the center line. So you got the hip flexor stretch. Those butt cheeks want to stay on the foot on the ground. Right leg sweeps to release the left, reset, find your center, and switch sides. Nice deep breath in, soften and stab for flexor. Left leg sweeps, come back 45, reach through the toes and circles at the bottom. Keeping your tailbone anchored. Four more. Good, we're gonna meet up in that extended V. Reach for the heels, anchor the tailbone. Weight of the legs, do the stretch. Kind of lengthening through the torso though. Good. 
Bring the soles of the feet together. High butterfly pointing the heels in toward the pelvis. That was great. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Your fan club finally gave up and they have retired. <laughs> God, it is like springtime outside, isn't it? I know, I'm roasting. <sighs> All right, ladies. So, Kathy, where are you going next weekend? <laughs> uh, we're going to go down. Um, near Carmel and the Del Monte forest and just try to get away for a little bit. Yeah. Wednesday through Saturday, yeah. Thank Where are you going? Um, I'm gonna go up to the Oregon border to a friend's um, fishing ranch, but there's a little ski hill up there. Yeah. That'll be nice. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Jackson starts school on Thursday, in in person school on Thursday. Where? Two, two days a week at White Hill to finish out eighth grade. Wow. So how that goes. So um, yeah, and then turns 14 in two weeks. Oh my goodness. Goes so fast. Oh can't believe it. Yeah. Can't believe it. Hey, Deborah, where'd you go, girlfriend? She's hiding from me. So you actually have room for a reformer? Oh, I'm gonna make room, yep. So our kitchen's a bit of a mess right now. Here's the kitchen. Nice, wow. Oh, I love all those windows. Isn't that great? We open up the wall. Oh, sweet. I like your um, chandelier a lot. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I love that. Here, turn on for you. Oops. That is very cool. Oh, I want one. Where'd you get that? <laughs> yeah, it's um, Jonathan Adler for Robert Abbey. Ooh. And they do it in a couple, of, they do it in a silver and in a bronze or in a brass and a bronze. I like the black or thank whatever you. it is. Thank yeah. You. Super was like no 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 don't go black and i was like no no i'm going black <laughs> black and white black and white it always works yeah. and then here's my pantry that i Ooh. and then the fun thing is everything over here in the island is all drawers oh how nice and we have a secret drawer on top where I have my spices. Oh, that is excellent. I love it. Oh, they look like they glide so nicely oh, too. Oh, oh, look at that. That is sweet. Isn't that great? And is your, is your butcher block set into the marble? Or no, is it? No, it's, it's something Clark gave me for um, Christmas. Oh, I love that. Yeah, it's William Sonoma. And then the other side, it has all these measurements on it, like um, lengths and widths and pi. Yeah, I love how it wraps the counter. It looks really cool. I wasn't sure about it, but he loves it. So mm. it's, wait, it's staying. <laughs> I was like, I just want the clean. Of course, Jackson like gets undressed here and leaves his <laughs> shirt. Oh, 
Um, this is my favorite, this door that just glides. Oh, that's nice. It did come with a, a screen that kind of distracts from the view, but it's that okay. That patio looks great. I love your rug. Oh, thanks. I have a, I love black and white rugs. I have one too. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm all about black and white. The backyard's a mess right now, but, and then um, our laundry room is over there that used to be in the kitchen area. Very nice. Yeah, we're excited. The laundry room floor isn't finished, but. Yeah. Super. Yeah, so waiting on kitchen counter stools and refrigerator handles. Yeah. Oh, I put a TV over here and shiplap on the wall. Oh. You see the shiplap? I do like that a lot. I love it. It just gives it a lot of great visual texture. What's it called? Ship shiplap? Shiplap, L-A-P. Shiplap. Ooh, that that's sweet that that is styling it's all over new england and it's funny like everybody here was like wait what is that again and then yeah. there's a secret closet here that it can't always open under the stairs nice the light doesn't seem to be coming on at the moment but um storage in there you know just, very nice yeah they were like Oh, there's a little space there. Let's close it up. I'm like, are you kidding? That's 12 square feet of storage. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Thank you, ma'am. I'd love to see it in person sometime. Absolutely. And you know, you're only two blocks away. But um, yeah. I have to, yeah, I have to, um, I'll make room for the reformer. I was going to put it right here by the dining table. Mm -hmm. Now, where that fiddly fig is, now I think I'm going to move it over into my this was a sun porch and it's clutterama right now, but um, my desk, I think I'm going to make room in here today and put it in here. You know what I do, what I do Gretchen, is I have, um, mine is, a, I, I have these sawhorses that I painted white and a white, it's my table, it's a work table. Uh huh. So when I'm not using it, I put the sawhorses over it and it's a door, you know, so um, using your reformer, what do you mean? The reformer goes underneath a table when oh, I'm not using it. Genius. Can I see? Well, it's kind of hard. Well, let's see. I, can sh I can't lift it up, but so here, hold on. Can I just see your table? Well, it's, it's, it's a makeshift table. It's a door. Can you see the door? Wait, which way would you go? Uh, it's a it's a, a wooden door that's like 30 by eight feet. And then I painted some sawhorses white and Bob cut little notches on the legs so they can fit over the reformer. And then I put the door on top and I have this great work surface. The bummer is every time I use it, I have to you know, disassemble it and then put it back together. But, you know, it's worth it to have the extra space. Sure. No, thank then, you. I think what I can do is keep my desk where it is. Yeah. I think I can just put the reformer here up on its end. I think, I think that'll work. Yeah, if you're not worried about it crashing on you when you bring it down, it scares me so much. Um, I think you'll get the hang of it. Yeah. Well, it's worth it. It's so worth it to have it, you know. I know. I told Deborah I really appreciate her walking me through the exercises to do without a reformer, but it's not the same. It's not. No. Um, All righty then. Well, have a great time in Oregon. <clears throat> Thank you. I'm going to be here on Tuesday. I don't know when you leave, but. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm just going Friday and Saturday. <clears throat> Friday, okay. Saturday, Saturday. Yeah, two nights. Um, it's California, just just before the Oregon border, and um, my friend's husband grew up there, and just kind of like in the backwoods, and um, then end up buying a ranch up there. So, nice. yeah, kind of fun. Cool. Yeah. See you later. Have a great time. 
Okay. Well, I'll see you on Tuesday if you're coming. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. All right. Take care. Bye, pal. Bye. Bye, Deborah. Lost her. <laughs> Still recording. Thank you.